The sartorius, the thin, long muscle that runs down the length of the thigh is the longest muscle in the human body. Its upper portion forms the lateral border of the femoral triangle. The sartorius muscle arises by tendinous fibers from the anterior superior iliac spine, running obliquely across the upper and anterior part of the thigh in an inforomedial direction. It descends as far as the medial side of the knee, passing behind the medial condyle of the femur to end in a tendon. This tendon curves anteriorly to join the tendons of the gracilis and semitendinosus muscles which together form the pes and serranus, finally inserting into the proximal part of the tibia on the medial surface of its body. The sartorius muscle assists in flexion, abduction and lateral rotation of hip, and flexion of knee. A motion that demonstrates for Albanian lex actions of the sartorius is to look at the bottom of your foot, as if you are checking if you stepped in gum. Situated in the anterior fascial compartment of the thigh, the sartorius is innervated via the anterior or superficial branch of the femoral nerve. The femoral nerve is responsible for both sensory and motor components in the sartorius and provides proprioceptive feedback for the muscle. One of the many conditions that can disrupt the use of the sartorius is pes anterine bursitis. Pes anterine bursitis is an inflammatory condition of the medial portion of the knee. This condition usually occurs in athletes from overuse and is characterized by pain, swelling and tenderness. The pes anterine is made up from the tendons of the gracilis, semitendinosus, and sartorius muscles. These tendons attach onto the anteromedial proximal tibia. When inflammation of the bursa underlying the tendons occurs they separate from the head of the tibia. Slips of origin from the outer end of the inguinal ligament, the notch of the ilium, the iliopectineal line or the pubis occur. The muscle may be split into two parts, and one part may be inserted into the fascia lata, the femur, the ligament of the patella or the tendon of the semitendinosus. The tendon of insertion may end in the fascia lata, the capsule of the knee joint, or the fascia of the leg. The sartorius is also absent in a small percentage of people. For more anatomy and physiology information about the sartorius muscle and all the major muscles of the human body please visit anatomy.askthetrainer.com